Hi, I'm Sarah Gardner. I'm a trustee for the Tissue Viability Society. Uh, I'm also a clinical lead for tissue viability in Oxford, in the community, for Oxford Health Foundation Trust. And I'm multitasking now, which obviously us women are very good at. And I'm going to be uh, chairing this next session all about the lower limb. And I'm also going to talk to you just now about legs matter. I want to establish first in this room who has heard of Legs Matter. Oh, look at that. That's incredible. Right, if every single one of you does just one thing for Legs Matter this year, we will make such a difference. So I'm going to just talk to you about the last year of Legs Matter. We launched Legs Matter campaign a year ago at TVS in Newcastle, and there's been a lot happening behind the scenes but also actively out there that I'm going to share with you and also to talk to you about the awareness week that's coming up uh, between the 3rd and the 7th of June. So we do feel we're starting to make a difference and I hope you're feeling that too uh, and I know that this campaign is going to get bigger and better. So as I said, we, we launched at Newcastle a year ago. This is some of our coalition uh, members uh, at the conference. So really, just a bit of a recap. So you'll probably be aware that, and you've probably been experiencing this yourself, that over a, a long period of time, we were getting sort of very frustrated that not a lot was being done around the lower limb. Obviously, all sorts of skin integrity and you know, pressure ulcers are really important, but that seemed to be the constant focus, didn't it? And uh, I think people with lower leg problems and foot problems were being left behind a bit. But there was a lot of us in practice uh, doing the best we could, but not seeing we're making much of a difference. So we knew we, we needed something, a national campaign of some sort. So as you know, we're better together, we're stronger together, we've got a stronger voice. So uh, a number of organisations and charities came together. Uh, they're listed here on this slide. Uh, Tissue Viability Society sort of leading on the campaign and we came together to form a coalition uh, to move the campaign forward. So we know that there's a lot of evidence out there that confirms there is a problem uh, around sort of lower leg and foot issues. Uh, Guest report in 19, si sorry, 1916? <laughs> 2000, I feel like I've been around that long, I tell you. Um, we know that there's a lot of cost associated with lower limb problems. Uh, we know that uh, most of the, prop the, the wounds are on the lower leg and the foot. And the evidence highlighted that many of them didn't have a clear diagnosis and certainly patients weren't on the correct sort of treatment plan. You might have heard of Betty's story. Uh, that's quite a powerful tool to use, isn't it, when we're trying to convince our commissioners why we need better care. Um, so we know that, you know, it's costly for the NHS. But... You know, it's not just about saving money, it's about uh, our patients, isn't it? And uh, acknowledging the, the harm and the suffering of our, of our patients. We know that leg ulcers are at least four times more prevalent than, than pressure ulcers. And many patients have experienced leg ulceration for months or, or often years. And it impacts um, very much on their physical and mental well-being, their quality of life. So it was really important that as part of our campaign, apart from the societies, that we had patient partners working alongside us as equals to influence our decision-making, to inform us. And uh, it's quite humbling and quite raw sometimes and quite shocking, some of the stories they tell us. And you'll actually be having a session on, on patient experience uh, shortly. So we know that every day um, thousands of people's quality of life is devastated by the lack of support and advice on the prevention of leg and foot conditions uh, and failure to, to correctly diagnose and treat them um, is unacceptable really and that's why it's so important that we have a campaign like this. 
So at the point of our launch a year ago, we agreed that we had to work together. Um, we, want, we needed to pool our resources. We were a sort of good source of you know, advice, experience, um, but we're better, as we said, together. We wanted to create partnerships with NHS England, but we decided at that point that we would seek to sort of influence rather than to make this our main focus. But we did decide that our main focus should be on the, meeting the needs of our patients and to try and, and help them to spot early on that they have a problem with their limb or their foot and where to seek help uh, about that. Uh, but we also agreed that, I keep forgetting to click these, we also agreed though that it would be unfair to raise expectations of our patients unless the people that would be caring for them um, had adequate knowledge, skills and support. So Part of our campaign is about supporting um, staff as well, or nurses, or clinicians, because this is a multidisciplinary campaign, not just about nursing. So what have we achieved in the past year? Um, well, firstly, we, um, we need some funding securing. You know, we are a part of charities. We, we have no income from government um, and as tissue viability society we did put a significant amount forward initially but we were really fortunate to uh, win the ergo foundation award back in 2017 which really helped secure our funding for moving this um, this campaign forward and we're very grateful to ergo for that We've had a little trip to the House of Lords, uh, which was an eye-opener, um, and we met with Lord Hunt uh, to discuss the, um, the, the, the issues and the problems around wound care, but obviously lower limb being a significant part of that. And uh, that probably did help influence what has now become the national uh, strategy for programme for wound care, which you possibly heard Una Adderley talk about on day one. And the lower limb work stream component of that um, is going to be, you're going to, we're going to update you on that shortly. Leanne Atkins, Atkins is going to do that. So the big, big bit of our campaign is around our website. Hands up who's been into our website and had a little mosey around. Yeah, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And a big chunk of funding, really. It took quite a bit, you know, to get that off the ground, but our marketing company have done a wonderful job. And we're building on that um, all the time. So really, the first six months of this last year has been spent really just improving and building and adding to that website. Um, if you go in those that haven't, you, there's a, a section for healthcare professionals, and then there's a section for patients, family carers, Joe Public, really. Um, and there's, there's lots to navigate. It's a very intuitive site uh, and lots of brilliant information. And we have had over 41,000 users of the website over the last year, which I think is not to be sniffed at. Here's a few testimonials about what people are saying, which uh, I think is wonderful. I'm not going to read them out, but people are very positive and you know, saying, where's it been? You know, We've needed this for ages. So it's absolutely wonderful. And it's not just coming from healthcare professionals. It's coming from members of the public as well. Thank you to our corporate partners. Again, the survival of our campaign wouldn't be possible, really, unless we had some support from industry. And we have, uh, we've worked closely with industry over the past year. We now have five platinum partners and four um, silver corporate partners. And without their financial support, we, we wouldn't be a viable um, organization, really. So if you're here from industry, any of you, and you're really interested in becoming a corporate partner for Lags Matter, uh, come down to our, um, our stand or you can go onto our website and make an inquiry. In addition to our corporate partners, we now have an additional category for Legs Matter called NHS Affiliates. And these are companies who, who formally and directly provide a service to the NHS. And we thank Daylong for being our first NHS affiliate and looking forward to working with them over the next year. Over the last year, we've now issued well over 600 action packs out to people who've requested them via the uh, website. 
it, they are available on our stand downstairs if you haven't already had one. It gives you some samples of some of the resources that we can make available to you when you're working clinically or when you're working, you know, if you're wanting to issue some to your patients. So um, I really would urge you to, to have a look at those and to use them um, accordingly. Um, getting involved. Yeah, look at them. Aren't they fantastic? Um, and we urge you all, even if you don't want to wear snazzy tights or socks, um, but this uh, demonstrates that people are taking legs matters seriously. <laughs> um, but there's, there's lots uh, happening out there, and we really would urge you to, if you are running anything around legs matter, is to give us some feedback. You know, send us some photographs, give us some uh, a statement about what you're doing. How are you making a difference? If you're taking an action pack, how has that impacted on your practice? Um, and we'll post it onto the website so people can share your ideas. Social media is a big thing that we've got to try and communicate our campaign. It's the way to go, isn't it? And we've had a 464% increase in followers on Twitter in the past year and a 357% increase in likes on Facebook. Uh, so please, if you don't already do, use that as a platform for communication, think about it because uh, I, you know, we need to get the word out there about the campaign. We were runners-up this year in the JWC Innovation Award. Um, there's a few of us there at the, the dinner, um, which we were absolutely delighted with. You know, there's so much fantastic work going on out there, isn't there? So we're very privileged to, uh, to, be, part, you know, to be part of the winners. We also, as coalition members, get out and about to lots of conferences to exhibit uh, or to speak about Legs Matter, and they're just some of the examples that we have uh, uh, presented at over, over the last year. Uh, and it's brilliant because it's not just about nursing or it's not just about tissue viability. You know, we've been invited to the Charing Cross Symposium, Podiatry and Infection Prevention Society are very interested as well. So, so we're delighted if anybody would like, you know, to consider holding a conference, please do consider Legs Matter. We're also getting lots of recognition and that we were delighted that we were cited within this document. Um, <laughs> You know, this is the quote from, from the paper. You know, people are seeing the value of what we're doing. So, so I think, you know, that's very reassuring that actually what we're doing is, is not going on deaf ears. <laughs> I wish I had some music. Do, 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 do. The something big is coming. So I just want to talk to you uh, briefly about, or oh, not so briefly, I'm doing okay for time, it, about the Awareness Week. Okay, so this is happening from the 3rd to the 7th of June, and we picked June really because hopefully we'll have some warm weather like last year. Um, and when it's warm, people tend to take the tights off, you know, your thick winter tights or you go into shorts or whatever. So people are more aware of their legs. I don't know about you, but I am thinking, oh, they're so pale and oh, dear me, I need to start shaving them again. Um, so, so I think you're more conscious about your legs. So we're hoping the campaign being in this week, in, in this month, we can get some t discussion going on, on about legs. So Behind the scenes, there's lots going on with our marketing company, Pink. Uh, I am sworn to secrecy for a lot of it because it's a bit of a build-up. Um, but a, just a little taste of that. There will be a six-region focus across um, the country. And there's going to be very much a lot of work done collaboratively with the coalition, but also with patients. So we'll be, exper we'll be sharing stories and some video footage uh, about, about patients' experiences as well. We've got some on-location giant L's, um, not necessarily like this one here, but massive ones where there's some photo shoots and things going on. So there's lots happening, and you'll be introduced to that as, as we lead up to that date. Uh, and then when we go live, it'll be everywhere. Okay, so you won't be able to miss it. Um, and it's really about how you then get involved, because we can't do it all ourselves. Um, so we need you to start thinking about, once you start seeing some of this national work, it's about how you communicate that. Okay, There's, you know, it's about through the social media campaign, 
um, you know, ha having some discussion about about the maybe the the stories or the video footage that you might see. Can you pass that on? Have you know get get people talking really. Um, but, but there are ideas that you can do sort of maybe in more lo low key or more locally to what to, to where you work. If you go onto the website, there is actually a whole section on there about the awareness week uh, plus a countdown. And um, there's just starting to give you some ideas. I love the idea of a legs matter natter. Um, and, and that could be yourselves in your teams or you spread the word. Mm, some of you might be linked in with the Women's Institute or some other groups and you might decide to talk about legs. Some of the resources, uh, there's some fantastic patient leaflets, there's some leaflets on the top uh, checking your, your legs, there is eight particular bits criteria for a leg check uh, and we're, we're talking about things like pledging that I've checked my legs have you uh, these sort of ideas really use the graphics whether you you know you use them in your own training sessions wear wacky socks or tights um, there's lots and lots of things that you can be doing that that you can actually raise awareness of the campaign uh, as I said not just really for your for your own teams but with general public um, I'm just going to share a few things about what we're doing in Oxford. Um, we're having some public events and we're working collaboratively in, in a multidisciplinary way. So we've got podiatry on board, we've got physios and OTs, because it, it's, it's so important, isn't it? Good leg health can be maintained by activity. Some people, um, you know, they struggle with their mobility or their activity. So we, it's not just about nursing, it's about therapists as well. So we're holding a couple of public events. We've got a health bus, a local authority health bus, which we're parking outside a massive Tesco's in. Anybody have heard of Bista Village, the uh, outlet? So it's close to that, so the footfall is going to be massive. So we're out there, and we've got the local authority involved who run uh, sort of park activities and other sort of initiatives like that, which go really well with Legs Matter, I think. We're getting staff engagement, but in a multidisciplinary way. And I think it's really important we, you get your executive board on, vo vo on your executive board on board. Uh, they have promised that week at their exec board meeting they're all going to wear jazzy socks and they're going to have a Legs Matter Natter. Uh, and they're going to pledge uh, around the campaign and what they're going to do about it. But also, what we're going to do, it's not just about Joe Public, patients, what about ourselves? I do, when I do Doppler training, I do see a number of our staff with early signs of venous disease who, you know, who need to be thinking about their own leg health. So we've had money secured in Oxford by our chief nurse who's going to um, purchase compression hosiery for our staff. And we're going to do a whole campaign about looking after our own legs as well. So I think that is brilliant. Um, we're also running a big conference. And if any of you can get to Oxford, um, it is a free event. We've got some amazing speakers. If you want to come and talk to me over lunch about that, we're more than happy uh, if we have the places. We've got 200 places uh, to have you there. So we're running a big conference, um, leg and foot themed presentations, and it is an opportunity for networking and for spreading information about our campaign. And it will be filmed, so it'll be an ongoing resource for our staff and others as well. So we're really excited about that. And it's really important also that partnership with industry who are a big support of events like this. So really, just to conclude, you know, I've given you some ideas about the Awareness Week, but, you know, and how you can get involved. And there's about four weeks to go. We should have had a clock counting down on here, shouldn't we? So if you haven't started planning already, you need to crack on because four weeks will go really, really quickly. So please share your ideas of what you're doing. Uh, coming into the, you know, go into the web website and uh, tell us what you're doing leading up to the campaign. And then during the campaign, the Awareness Week, do take photographs. Let us know what you've done. I just think it's so exciting and I'd love to hear what you're all up to. So a year on, I feel we've achieved a lot. Um, you know, I think, I think the, the Awareness Week will put Legs Matter into the spotlight even more, so those that didn't know will certainly know after this Awareness Week. 
we still have to continue the campaign. You know, we need, it's early days. Um, it's about sustainability. It's not a one-off campaign. We really need to move this forward uh, uh, because, you know, you all here, I'm, I'm sure, can be quite passionate or will, would be passionate about this. So we need you. So I'm hoping that this time next year at TVS, we'll all see you again and, and we can share even more exciting things that we've done this, this next year. Thank you for listening.